Okay, so we use plastic in a lot of things, obviously. Your, your team noted also finding high concentrations of plastic in meat bought at the grocery store, for mm -hmm. example. So when you think of buying meat, it's all usually wrapped tightly in plastic at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Is this potentially a bad thing? The fact is, is you're not going to get as much of your microplastics exposure from that cup or that piece of plastic that's covering your food products when you first purchase them. It's what happens to that after it ends up in a landfill through sunlight, um, even just like the packing down of these landfills. So that mechanical degradation, that's what causes these to these plastics to break down into these much finer micro as well as nanoplastics. Then those end up leaching out into our groundwaters, into our soils. And then what, what do we use those for? For, for oh, watering crops. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we use them for watering crops, and then there's just that bioaccumulation. Animals drink it, probably. E exactly. Thinking back again to the grocery store meat, mm -hmm. it might not just be like the plastic that it's covered in, but you're saying like it's, it's in the in, meat. It's in the meat itself, yes.